Hello, uh, this is a weekly uh, infra meeting. Um, we start, we are um, so uh, present. Uh, uh, sorry, yeah, I'll let uh, Mark. Uh, uh, we have uh, Mark White, Stefan Mel, and Bruno Verachen. Um, to start uh, for the announcement, uh, we have um, a weekly and two LTS re uh, release with a security release. Um, no other announcement, I think. And uh, then we'll. Um, Um, for the current milestone, what we have done uh, this week, uh, we've um, upgraded uh, Maven to 3.8.6. It was uh, uh, suspended since uh, there were there were uh, weren't any release in the GitHub repositories for the last version. So we switch our tooling to use uh, the tag instead. And um, with this upgrade, we also uh, make sure uh, every repository needing this uh, Maven version uh, would uh, use Packer image as a unique source of trust for uh, Maven version. So Docker and Bund. Uh, uh, agent and uh, Jenkins as a puppet infrastructure are looking in the care image uh, tools that takes the files. Um, a user wasn't able to sign in into account. You help him, uh, Mark. I am correct. This is good. Um, we had to enable rotation on Puppet Slug because they were uh, far too big. And um, I don't have more to, uh, to add. Next, uh, we had an issue with Update Hunter certificate. Uh, it has been uh, renewed uh, manually by Damien. But uh, then we had a report about uh, error when uh, the Jenkins instance wanted to to check uh, plugin uh, signature, and we noticed then uh, that some crawler uh, uh, were failing. So they uh, signed uh, then their uh, the JSON. Retrieved uh, by this crawler, listing all the uh, tool version where uh, weren't updated, and so their signature uh, were still with the uh, old certificate. So even with the certificate uh, manually updated, uh, the, um, the this uh, JSON file weren't uh, signed with the new one. So. Damien uh, on his side uh, make a script to manually sign to trigger a sign on every uh, existing uh, JSON file. So they could be signed with the new certificate. And uh, on my side, I fixed uh, I fixed uh, two crawlers and uh, make sure the other were uh, working as intended. On the next, uh, I finally uh, put in place the notification uh, on people on the help desk issue when uh, when a certain keyword, a certain level are applied to issue. So we could notify uh, teams on uh, people uh, on the issue uh, to, to make them aware of the, uh, of the current issue. For example, uh, the Crowdin label uh, is notifying the Crowdin admin uh, teams. And we could also add a, a notification to Daniel when the update center label is applied. I have to ask him if it's okay with him. Uh, 
for the work in progress issue, we have uh, the migration of update Jenkins uh, to Oracle. Uh, Stefan is working on uh, on the Oracle Terraform integration. I think yeah, still, is, still a work in yeah. progress. Um, for Digital Ocean, we had a meeting last week uh, with Freebie, uh, who manage uh, the sponsorship pro uh, program uh, at Digital Ocean. It was a great meeting, and they have already renewed uh, us with a credit of uh, $207,700. Uh, and they will uh, give us access to their sponsorship uh, new form, so we can uh, help them uh, tune it and uh, give them feedback. Um, so it will happen the, at the end of June, if all uh, uh, if it's uh, if it's okay for them. But yeah, it's in uh, really good shape. Um, uh, previously, we uh, we noticed the uh, issue uh, about uh, PowerShell not available on every agent, and I um, I intend to, to instead of putting alias or determine the availability of one or the other uh, executable, I will uh, install. Uh, so the last uh, PowerShell 7 version on every agent and make sure also that the Windows PowerShell, the previous one, is also present. So all call to PowerShell or PWSH in, uh, in pipeline uh, would uh, work. And I think uh, something in Doc should be added to, to note the difference and to encourage people to use uh, PWSH as its uh, last one, last version. So still, still a work in progress. I'm putting it for the next uh, Afro team sync. Um, evaluate retry condition to improve the stability of builds. It's about the what JC has implemented. We have an incremental uh, release uh, build uh, ready, uh, but we'll wait uh, this week to to see how it works uh, with Jesse. So I'm putting it in the next okay, milestone. So Hervé, Hervé, to clarify on that one, the idea is after the secure, sometime after the security release is installed onto ci.jenkins.io, you'll do yes. some experiments with it, or are you going to do it experiments elsewhere? Um, uh, uh, the thing is, we have we have already installed the incremental build on infra.ci, but uh, we have to have it also on ci.jenkins.io. So it will wait after the security and weekly release, I think. If we, uh, it has to be on all instance since uh, there isn't anything to, to prevent uh, the backline uh, to be run on one or the other instance. And since it concerns ma uh, mainly a plugin, we have to, Wait. Um, Certainly, since ci.jenkins.io is the place where we most often often see failures, it's a yeah. great candidate to do the checking. It really is. It's yeah. a good choice. Enable development integration in Jira is about uh, auto linking uh, GitHub in Jira. Uh, it's open, but I don't know what it will be uh, Jenkins CI. Uh, admin and geo admin who can do this kind of work. And I'll put it in the next uh, in, uh, milestone since I don't really know how Tamia will deal with it, but yeah. Um, uh, 
the, um, uh, this issue you opened, Mark, uh, can I let you describe it? Yeah, so, so we've got a new System 390 um, agent machine available. I've been running tests with it for several weeks. It's ready to go. I just need to make the configuration changes. We also have, and I'll create a separate ticket for this, a new PowerPC agent that needs a similar setup. And so I think, uh, Hervé, if it's okay with you, I'll just create a new issue that is effectively a duplicate of this issue to do the mm. same thing for PPC 64 LE. Yes, go for it. Should I put it in the next milestone? Yes, yes, please. Thanks. Sorry that I haven't made progress on it this week. No, no, no worries. Um, the current height limiting. I think we still uh, we are still waiting for a response from the curve, if I'm not mistaken. So yeah, no progress. I'll put it in the next uh, milestone. Then uh, upgrade to Kubernetes uh, one point twenty two. Um, Sorry, I haven't done much. Yeah, yeah, and we didn't have time to work on it, but uh, um, we'll try to at least uh, take some time uh, every day of every week with Stefan to review the official sun blog. Okay, we, need, so. we need to check together for Digital Ocean what yeah. I've done, if it's uh, uh, good enough or not, I'm not quite sure. And, and before going to the EL key uh, version, I want to make sure that what I did for Digital Ocean is, is good and enough, but I need to check with you. Um, little more info about Digital Ocean. I've re-enabled, uh, I reverted uh, the pull request, uh, which were disabling uh, the Digital Ocean cluster in our infrastructure. But I still have uh, an issue uh, putting it back uh, manually in ci.jenkins.io. I'll see it uh, if Damien uh, can you get back. In the last one, this is one also for next week. Yes, yeah, this one is depending on the Oracle uh, VM building. As a new issue, uh, Daniel opened today uh, an issue, so we'll so we, um, to ask us to migrate from uh, the workflow CPS global lib plugin to the new pipeline groovy lib, where, they, uh, where uh, CloudBees and I think CloudBees um, extracted. Uh, useful feature. So it could be more uh, light independency, I think. We have a, also an issue opened by uh, um, Badek about plugin. An issue I also got uh, when going on plugin. The top menu doesn't work anymore. I'm not sure it's a good place for this issue. I, I, I think, think the, the best is actually to move it to the plugins.jenkins.io uh, GitHub repository. Yep. And I believe that's called plugin dash site. Okay. And the next one I, uh, in the new issue is one from not my fault. Uh, there is an issue around weekly that's uh, ci.jenkins.io. Uh, he made a pair to update uh, the description on the home page and it, it's not taken in account. Same for the uh, one I missed is uh, the timestamper uh, plugin we've activated on all instance. 
it's not uh, taken into account for weekly dot ci also so i have to i've looked around but didn't found anything so i will look it with uh, damien next week So the timestamper configuration you said was also divergent. It was different on we that weekly than on, on our other instances. It was only present installed, installed on, uh, on ci.jenkins.io manually. Oh. So we've added it. Uh, I've added it in the plugin that takes the list in all Docker Jenkins LTS and Docker Jenkins weekly image. But it's unfortunately not working on on any uh, on the weekly. We have the air, yeah, but not on weekly. I've tried a new build, uh, but alas, it doesn't, it's, it's not uh, taken into account. I don't know why yet. Um, do you see any other issue we should discuss about? None that, none that I recognize. Mm -hmm. Just the, the, the concluding reminder, tomorrow's a security release. Be very careful. Tomorrow's a good day not to do infrastructure changes. Let them wait, let them wait until Thursday. Yeah. Um, yeah, and there is also uh, an issue from the by fault, but it's more about uh, Jenkins CI uh, um, repository. It's about having a, um, a predefined set of label for every repositories. And I have, I, it was, it's on my wish list for my GitHub code uh, issue, my long standing GitHub code issue. I forgot if we, we had fulfilled uh, an issue for the data dog that we want to uh, upgrade, but I'm not quite sure we would have time to do that during this uh, time being. Um, so data dog we want to upgrade. Can you remind me a little bit more about it? Uh, you know, we want to uh, make sure that uh, um, it trigger page or duty only on specific case like for example if there is two different area that have the, the same problem and we will want to um, uh, unify every uh, check building yep. uh, within the terraform uh, action and not a docker file I, th I think that if I understood correctly, the aim is to simplify and and do better check and maybe take advantage of, of what uh, Datadog is offering because we are not using much of it. And I'm quite sure that we can uh, extend the quality of the checks. Yep. The problem is that we have to find the boundary for that. It's more, yeah, long term, not a long term, but. Uh, yeah, it's a, it's a background task, but still yeah. we, we have to have an issue and to track it. Yep. Especially because we have a pager duty on top of Datadog and pager duty is brand new and we probably can have a specific uh, pager duty alert. I think we can yeah, spawn uh, pager duty with lower uh, priority and stuff like that. Yeah, we'll have to discuss this. We will have to look around, yes. Um, if it's, I don't see anything else. So on my part, is if it's okay for you. Uh, okay, and, uh, have a, a good day.
day and uh, goodbye. Thank you, Hervé. Thank you. Bye-bye.